This is High Finder Expo Highlights from the Hydrogen Expo in Houston today with Andy Abrams from Lifeguard Technologies. Steven. Hi Andy. How are you Stephen? Good to be with you. Great. What innovations are you showing at the show? Lifeguard Technologies is an industrial safety hose company mm -hmm. and our technology is embedded in high pressure and liquid cryogenic hoses. We're introducing to this new segment of the industry our internal safety system which is designed to shut the flow off in the case of a catastrophic hose failure. Mm -hmm. uh, many of the companies here are making equipment for the hydrogen industry and in the end all of it will result in some sort of fluid transfer, either yes. liquid or high pressure gas. Yeah. Our products which have been used for more than 30 years in the hydrogen industry, compressed gas industry and the petroleum industry are now being introduced to what we characterize as the industrial hydrogen marketplace, which is the marketplace that's developing hydrogen as a form of fuel. And we brought our various hoses. This happens to be one of our unique, very high pressure uh, hydrogen hoses made of ETFE. Okay. It has a 24,000 psi burst pressure, which is extremely high. Yeah. An internal to it. That. Please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It includes our safety loops, which are used to keep the hose from whipping around if there's a thread failure. Okay, so that means if, so this, this gets attached to, to whatever, let's Correct. say a vessel, and then this to additional spot there. Correct. And if there's a thread failure, meaning this bursts off, this Correct. can still catch that. That's right. Okay. And if there's any kind of failure in the hose, mm -hmm. which would be a coupling failure, a drive away, pull apart, or even a blowout in the side of the hose, the system shuts the flow instantly. What you'll this find this hose here. Yes. So if there is a is a, is a perforation, a hole somewhere here. Correct. How how would that work? How, how Internal is a cable. The okay. cable is longer than the hose, so it acts like a spring. That okay. spring-like effect keeps these valves in the open position. All right. If there's a side blowout at a hose that's operating at 6,000 psi, yeah. the cable exits the hose and the valve shut instantly. All right. The valve shut, and then there's one side still connected, uh, but the, the whole and the valve, the flow is stopped both stopped. from the standpipe and the cylinder okay, or so source and receiver. Yeah. I think we can show that here. There's a there's a bit of a construction in there with the cable that's that's ending. Correct. There. Okay. You're seeing a plunger valve in yes. each side of this hose. Okay. Correct. Right. Very. So so obviously this this looks pretty unique to me. Is this unique in the market? Very unique. Is, it's, yeah. We we hold four patents. We have five pending. Mm -hmm. We've made numerous innovations in that, and this hose, which is a liquid, mm -hmm. vacuum jacketed cryogenic hose, has the same system in it, except it uses flapper valves instead of plungers, okay. and it uses a compression spring instead of a cable. So this is this is a this is a bigger, uh, let me say, a bigger baby. Let's yes. See, okay. We can so we can see here. We look into the end. Let's get my a light here, and uh, with that, so what what are we seeing when we look in there? You're seeing a flapper valve that's being held in the open position by a compression spring that runs end to end in a hose. In, in this hose all Correct. the way. So it will be the same thing if you look on the other side. Correct. It's okay. exactly the same. And what is this? Uh, this is here? used in the case if the internal hose were to have a failure. The internal this, hose. Because okay. inside here is a hose and there's vacuum between the internal hose and yeah. the external side. Yes. Yeah. That vacuum keeps hydrogen at approximately minus 252. Uh, and so if somehow there was a puncture, let's say in the inner tube, yeah. you need to release that gas, that's what this is. Okay, so this okay. would have to vent uh, to somewhere. Correct. You have to, okay. This design is mandated under law in the United States by the U.S. Department of Transportation for LPG cargo tanker loading and offloading. Okay. And it's likely to be extended to liquid cryogenic hydrogen as well. Applications as well. So this is, this, uh, this and this holds as we see, can already be used for liquid cryogenic It could. It's hydrogen. small. Normally it would be 20 feet longer. Or longer correct. Yeah, could yeah. be a larger diameter as well. Okay. So what are typical applications where you would see this? You could see it in offloading of a vessel of a liquid cryogenic cargo tanker. Yeah. You could see it within a facility where they're transferring liquid hydrogen. You could see it being used in a factory where it's actually being used from tank to tank transfer. Okay. Anywhere right. you would see a hose being used, this hose is advantageous because if there's a failure, it shuts the flow shuts and you do not blow up your facility. Okay. So I think that's that's pretty unique and uh, I guess uh, why should anyone care? Well, an added safety uh, through this. 
Um, it's used in the United States, but it's used, used in other, globally. Oh, correct. Globally, oh, correct. Right, okay. So we are the recommended supplier to Lindy Gas worldwide right. for high pressure hoses. We're yeah. a globally validated supplier to Air Liquide. This technology is used in the United States by Air Liquide and Air Gas at all of their hydrogen loading and offloading locations. It also in Canada, Mexico, Australia, and uh, this is currently being uh, used by Lindy Gas here in the U.S. and also. Uh, in India. Okay. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Andy, so what, can you give us a bit of an outlook? So you're here at the Hydrogen Show. Obviously, this is a growing market. Um, so what's your outlook on, on this whole thing and uh, where will we be seeing your hoses? Uh, I think that as this market develops and companies understand the safety importance of transfer of hydrogen, we will start seeing this being used as a standard like we've seen in the high pressure fill plant side of yeah. the industrial gas industry. Okay, so you, this to be a standard? This is, is going to for. be a standard. <laughs> we can have this conversation in five years and yeah. you'll remember this conversation. Okay, perfect. Well, okay. thank you very much for showing us a bit of the future. I think this is fantastic that you have safety inherent in the, in the hose, which is, which is great. Yeah. And uh, that's all a big thing that's going to help build this hydrogen economy even bigger, Absolutely. better and faster. Thank you very much, Andy, thank you, Steve. For, thanks for coming over. Appreciate it. And thank Appreciate you for watching. Thank you. Thank you.